Baptist draft, when it was opposed by the South, they end up having to erase it out. So there is no mention of slavery at all in the Declaration of Independence. However, but we're, he, there's a back door, though. We are the only country on the planet in all of human history that literally fought a civil war to free an entire culture. Right. But, you know, uh, uh, Thomas Jefferson and people that um, hate America will say, well, ah, you're wrong. Thomas Jefferson owned slaves. He owned slaves. He fathered children. He raped his slaves. You know, all that, which is all a bunch of BS. But he did He did own slaves. But that's kind of like the thing where Trump gives money to Democrats. you got to play by the rules. And you got to use the rules uh, to, to the best of your ability. It doesn't make it right. right. And we're, and we're, not, life, we're right. not saying that it makes it right. And nobody is perfect. Nobody is innocent. If I could interview him today on this show, right. I know exactly what he would say. He would say... Uh, I I can't throw away my livelihood because slavery is a thing in America. It was a culture. But if everybody, if I could ban it today, it would be a done deal. I wouldn't oppose it a, a right. second. In fact, I'm advocating for everybody to ban it right now. But it not being banned means I cannot go down the road of throwing all my slaves, uh, you know, giving them freedom right. because then that would just be. Uh, economic suicide, and for me. I treat them extremely well. Which I take did. care of them. I apparently he was in love with one of them. Right, right. So that culture in that day and age, you don't live there. I don't live there. Read the biographies of the men who lived in that time. It'll give you a little bit more perspective on slavery. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm desperately trying to help you, baby boomers, understand something, and I need to make this crystal clear sitting out will further continue to destroy this country i do not believe that we could possibly handle bernie sanders so i see where you're going with this you're saying that thomas jefferson had to make and so did all the other uh, northern abolitionists had to Put aside freeing the slaves and, and getting rid of the abomination of slavery in order to make freedom happen and plant the seeds that would one day, hopefully, God willing, everybody pray on it every night, that we could finally abolish slavery. But for right. the time being, let's get this ball rolling. Right. So what you're saying now is, okay, so you might not get Cruz. Correct. You may not. You might end up getting a candidate who, for certain uh, little things that are very important to you, you might not get with a, let's say, a Trump. This might blow your mind, folks. But we've got to make these concessions in order to prevent the takeover of communism. Because if you allow Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton... It would be abortion on demand. By the way, uh, Obama came out this week and said, oh no, mark my words... There will be a Democratic candidate. Oh, there will be. As a I agree with him. Yes, I agree yes. with him. I agree with him one hundred percent. We will have a Democratic candidate. Correct. And if you oh, guys listen to this show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. He's such a knucklehead. For those of you who are just tuning in and never listened to the show before, Democratic means it, it's uh, it is uh, a a Democratic process. Republican Democrats are Democratic. Republicans Democratic. are Democratic. So when you hear Democrats refer to their party as Democratic, it's a misnomer, not because they're not Democratic, but it implies that Republicans are not, not Democratic. Democratic. Of course, both sides are Democratic. Right. So, so help me out. If Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton is elected president of the United States... The last thing that you're going to be worried about is abortion on demand. Yeah, because that is going to be a, a guarantee. And if you want the fastest way to throw the hope of ending the Holocaust in America, then sit out this next election. Sit out this next election, absolutely. Well, but Trump, Trump was pro, and now he's against, and now he's pro, and he said this, and he said that. Okay, 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 this, this may break your hearts a little bit. Uh, back in the day, 
I was all right with it. Yeah. It, I it, was a bleeding it, heart it, liberal. In my mind, back in the day, in my mind, it was a woman's issue. Yeah. And I was told that and believed that because I was convinced of that by the media, by the school, by the, by the people. You were all brainwashed. Yes. All of us were. Yes. And so, okay, woman, I, it's your deal. Good to go. All right. Hey, whatever. Who am I to say? I'm it's a man. Her, it's her body. Man. You know what? It would be it would be a chauvinistic of me. I flip to impose, impose my Well, somebody uh pointed to me that uh, well, you know, who's going to stand up for these children? Who's going to who's who's standing up for their rights? And then that's when I was like, "Hmm, I need to think rethink this." Right. So, my when when I say, "Okay, who was it? Was it uh Hillary that says my my beliefs on this issue have evolved?" Yeah, or maybe it may have even been. Uh, I think they Obama. all they all have said evolve. But I like to. I would like to use that as my defense because when we evolve to a more conservative position of pro life, right? We actually are improving society. We are increasing the civility of humanity. Right. When we say that, you know what? I was wrong about being okay with murdering children and and i i i was thinking to myself euthanasia yeah let the euthanasia if let them die free. if you want to die I, oh no I euthanasia thought, is when you um i know but i thought they were they were a bunch of kids running around asia let them, oh, let them, run. <laughs> let them run around why asia. are we talking about all these youths in asia who cares oh my goodness That's, i'm young are and, you against youth in asia no no, let them run free. I'm also against women's suffrage. Stop <laughs> them from suffering. <laughs> See, so a lot of it is just ignorance. I, absolutely. I plead the fifth. Is it the fifth or is it plead, 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 plead insanity? <laughs> I plead insanity. I used to plea that Hillary Clinton always uses. Oh, uh, uh, oh it's a Scooby-Doo plea. Oh, this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Shaggy. So check this out. In Iowa, the GOP chairman, his name's Kaufman, who wasn't officially endorsing Trump for president, but did appear with him on stage and introduced Trump. And he said that if Iowans select Trump on February 1st, the party is fully committed to electing him president of the United States. Great. That's a sad day in hell that we need that reassurance from the party chair. Well, uh, um, it may because be we have so much contempt for the party, the, the the establishment. It may have been a message to the constituency. It was a message to the Tea Party members, I think, or maybe not Tea Party, but just hold on. What, do, whoa, whoa, whoa. what are you saying here about the Tea Party? Because we. I certainly didn't think that the GOP would have, would back anybody. I mean, there was rumors that the GOP was going to But who do you think default. the Tea Party's backing? Probably, probably Cruz. Trump? It, it may be 50-50, okay. but here's why they're backing Trump. Because the Tea Party was founded by a bunch of angry conservatives because nothing's getting done. Right. It, oh, there was something. And they believe that Trump is the only one. Trump is the only one that has convinced the people that follow him that that something may actually get done. He slipped a little bit. He made a comment. Uh oh. Said, "Yeah, yeah, Harry Reid, Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, I can work with them." Uh, what are you working with them about? Okay, okay. Here's the thing, folks. Help me out here, Brian. It's. It's difficult. It's it's, it's difficult. Really hard. It's really hard. Who said that? It's really hard. Who was the one that kept on saying it's hard? It's hard. It might have been. Was it was it Clinton? <laughs> I'm trying. To... You mean Bill or Hillary? <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, wait a minute. This is a family show. <laughs> Woo! No. What? There was. Yeah. A, it was. It was, it was Hillary. Was it was, it was it... Hillary. It was Hillary. Yeah. About her. <laughs> it was during a primary. It may have been, I can't remember. And during the primary, every time he or she was interviewed, I can't remember who it was. Right. When they asked what what's wrong with your campaign or whatever, it's just hard. 
Yeah. It's really hard. It's so difficult. I thought it might have been Bush or somebody. It might be Bush. So check this out. I understand he's flip flopped on pro life. I understand that. It's true. He is against same sex marriage. However, the law of the land. What are you going to do about that, anyways? And he was going to nominate uh, nominate somebody to the Supreme Court justice that didn't have a problem with same sex marriage. Whatever. That ship's gone and sailed. I don't see that one being undone, anyways. The same sex marriage. Yeah. How do you undo that? Well, that's not only how do you undo that, but how does that not get redone later down the road? It's just pathetic. You're that taking Supreme, away our rights. The Supreme Court justice can make law now. Well, no, they can actually redefine right, words. It, right, right, law and redefine words. Redefine words, which okay. is we've already talked. This is a long. We I'm going to revisit this really fast. Redefining words. We talked about this in several different episodes, but not for a really long time. The problem with redefining words, which liberals love to do, is that. We uh, things work in America through contracts, and some contracts are really old. One of which you can actually look at the Constitution and call that a contract Correct. between the people and the government. When you change the definition of words, you literally change the meaning of contracts, which the is contractual agreement. The Davis girl that was in trouble in Kentucky. Yep. By changing the definition of marriage, you've changed. Her job description. And her contract with the government as her job. Yeah, so that was a problem, and it caused her to actually get thrown in jail for a short period of time. Yeah, it's despicable. Which, you know, you want to talk about McCarthyism. Throwing her in jail is just an abomination of America. And that's a black eye that's going to go down in history. There's right? all kinds of judges that won't issue concealed carry permits, but nobody's throwing them in jail. Yeah, but isn't that a, 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 a violation of the Second Amendment? Amen. And that was already written. Okay, so immigration, you know what he wants? He wants to put up a wall. Before, he didn't want to put up a wall. Before, he said we need to take Syrians, uh, refugees. I understand he said that before. Now, everything that's come out, he's saying we need to stop it and figure out who these people are. And he's he being called said, a bigot over it. Right, and he say, said that this may be a Trojan horse. He said that. I, I What do you mean, May. Well, this was early. No, it is. But this was early, early on. This is the most before. blatantly obvious Trojan horse ever. But he's the only one to say that. Nobody else has ever said that. Did you hear they're calling for Angela Merkel to resign now? 60% of them are. It's a, it's a huge number. Only 60? That means 40? Yeah. That means 40% <laughs> of the entire population of Germany is like, yeah. no, you know what? I, I am not going to call for her resignation at this point. No. You should follow us on Facebook at Smith Radio because I posted a video. French police armed with wooden sticks, pepper spray, and a plastic toy shield turn and run from immigrant crowd with a bullhorn. Oh, that's embarrassing. They That's have, why they, they have, have rear view mirrors on their uh, tanks so they can this watch. This is in France. It's in France this week. They had wooden sticks, plastic shields. The other guys had a mob and, and bullhorns. Right. And they ran. Oh, they turned coat and ran. They couldn't they couldn't keep up with it. It was over running. You remember when they were firing and the, 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 the reaction of the cops? I mean, it looked so bad. Yeah. <laughs> no good. Okay, so um, entitlements, yes. He said he's not even going to touch the entitlements. You mean not get rid of them? He's not going to get rid of entitlements. He's not even going to touch it. And you know the taxes. That's frustrating, but... He's not going to do a whole heck of a lot with taxes. Right. Religion. Oh, no, no, no. His, uh, his tax plan is actually a pretty good one. Tax plan is certainly conservative. He proposed <laughs> lowering the top tax rate bracket to 25%, drop the capital gains tax to 20%, dump the death tax... And drop the corporate rate to 15. That would be huge. Income tax isn't that much different. But yeah, I could see like the corporate, uh, all that other stuff, capital gains and... Health care, he was for single payer. He wasn't. He definitely says Obamacare needs to be dumped. It's atrocious. Come up with something different. Hopefully somebody can lobby him to go uh, a new route called capitalism. Let the people choose. Uh, education, dump, dump Common Core. He said it's absolutely awful. He actually came out with an ad, flat out with very strong words, saying it's a disaster. 
it needs to be completely removed. And he followed up by saying that it needs to be the policy of the federal government to leave education in the hands of the state and local 